Today's blog post is about degenerative discs and herniated discs. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa West and welcome to Living Your Yoga. Today we're talking about degenerative discs and herniated discs. So degenerative discs happen when the discs in your spine start to dry out and lose their mobility and shock absorption. When this happens, the inner portion of your discs shrink, providing less cushion between the bony vertebra of your processes of your spine and the outer part of your discs can suffer small tears. The result of this is pain. Herniated discs, also called slip discs or bulging discs, happen when the inner material of your discs, the soft nucleus, leaks out of your disc and touches the nerve root. The nucleus is highly inflammatory and so the contact with the nerve causes pain. Any numbness, tingling or weakness travels along the path of the nerve, such as the sciatic nerve, and can go down the back of the leg. But a disc that herniates in your cervical spine can cause pain that radiates down your arm. So what can you do? First of all, make sure you go to your medical doctor and get a correct diagnosis. You can't get a diagnosis from your yoga teacher. You can only get a diagnosis from your medical doctor. Get a correct diagnosis and find out what you can do and what you cannot do to keep yourself safe if you have a back injury. So safe in your day-to-day -day life, but also safe when you're doing any movement in any kind of, uh, in your life, but also in a yoga class and any kind of exercise or any kind of physical movement. So yoga poses, as long as your doctor says it's okay, like cat pose can be helpful for degenerative disc disease and herniated discs. So let me show you what I mean. If you come onto all fours with your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips, and you round up through your back, and you arch through your back, you're moving your spine through flexion and extension. And so you're drawing fluid and nutrients into the inner portions of your discs and helping to plump them up and creating more shock absorption for your load. The curve of your lumbar spine, so your low back, also bends inward when you're doing cat pose. This is your lordotic curve here. This is the area where bulging discs and slip discs usually happen primarily from sitting in chairs and the inward curve uh, from when you're sitting in chairs goes into a C curve and so the weight bearing of that starts to push those discs out. Your lower back isn't the only place where herniation occurs. When your head gets pulled forward from prolonged periods of screen time, the lordotic curve of your neck also gets flattened out and even turned into ky kyphosis. So it can even go like that. And over time, you'll start to experience inflammation and muscle strain and pinched nerves. So putting your body in a different orientation to gravity, so like where your spine is horizontal to the ground, uh, from sitting and screen time and moving your spine in different directions like we did with flexion and extension is so helpful for preventing and correcting degenerative disc disease and herniated discs in your cervical and lumbar spine. So would you like more support in varying your movement patterns? In our membership community, I have a seven class series on back, neck, and nervous system RX, which means prescription. And it's a seven class series. And I will tell you about the second class because in the, another post I told you about the first class. The second class in the series, no, maybe I'll tell you about the third class. The third class in the series uses a soft foam roller, a slow-mo ball and a soft squash ball to keep your fascia hydrated and to help mo maintain mobility, integrity and resilience of your fascia by hydrating your fascia. So this is some of the best and most current props and research in uh, helping to hydrate the connective tissue of your body and it's just amazing for helping to I think it's one of the best things that's come out in the field of movement research in the re most recent years. So we'd love to have you as a member of your membership community where I can best support you in, in overcoming uh, any kind of back issues. 
So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Namaste. Melissa would love to hear your questions and thoughts. Please leave your comments below the video. Thank you for your reviews on iTunes and YouTube. Your reviews help us to share yoga and a yoga lifestyle with others around the world. If you have a question for Melissa, you can leave a voice message at melissawest.com and Melissa may answer it in an upcoming blog.